Hello, and welcome to this episode of the OnTrack Whiteboard Series. Today, we're going to be talking about the different connection styles you can find on your PCB. We're going to talk about direct connect, no connect, and mainly thermal connect. We're going to talk about why we have two spokes versus four spokes, and why we have 90 degrees versus 45 degree angled spokes. So let's get right into it. Direct connect is when we have a pad or a via connected all around to its surrounding copper. And that's really going to be your default, what you use most of the time. You're going to use it when you don't use a no connect or a thermal connect. Next, we'll talk about no connect. So no connect, you may be wondering why I have a connection style that doesn't connect. Um, the main reason is to control the flow of current. So here's an example. If we're looking at our board from the side, and we want to uh, have a, our signal go from the top layer to the bottom layer, we may have a direct connect at the top and bottom, but a no connect in the inner layers. So we're avoiding connecting these inner layers. We're just going from the top to the bottom. Next, we'll talk about thermal connect. Thermal connect is really used for hand soldering, uh, selective soldering, and rework. And you got to be, you need to be careful when using thermal connect because you could get something like tombstoning. Let me explain what that is and how it happens. So here we have a component. We have our solder paste on our pads, except this side is thermally connected. And this side is connected to a large piece of copper. And being connected to a large, or this pad is connected to a large piece of copper, while this pad is thermally connected. And when this is connected to a large piece of copper, that means that the heat will be wicked away from that pad much more quickly than this side. So when this cools, the surface tension of the uh, solder paste will lift up the component on its side. And it'll turn into something like this. So here is our component. And this is thermally connected, while this is connected to a larger plane. And we'll get something like this. And tombstoning is actually a very good name, because you have your component standing on its side looking like a tombstone. And also, it signifies the death of your board. So next, let's go to uh, two spokes versus four spokes. Why would you want to have two or four spokes? Well, the reason you would want these different number of spokes is because of the current you're drawing. So if you're drawing more cur current into a pad or a via, you'd want more spokes. Also, you'd want to adjust the width of those spokes. And if you want to determine the width, you can use something like IPC 20, uh, what was it? IPC 2152, or a calculator like Saturn, or even something like a PDN Analyzer. And they could help you determine what a good number of spokes is and the width. Um, and you want to make sure you get that right, because if you do not, you can create a fuse. If, it's, if your spoke is too thin, it can't handle the current. It could basically become a fuse, burn up, and then it, the rest will burn up. Um, next, 90 degrees versus 45 degrees. And that really has to do with, with placement and your design rules. So let me draw an example for you. Here, I'm going to draw a component. These are the pins. And if we have our, let's say, vias are at 90 degrees with four spokes, our clearance rule will get rid of these spokes. These are too close to each other, and it's just, it'll create a problem. And what will happen is these spokes will go away. And this is what we call a starved thermal. And now we're kind of where we were before. We're missing a spoke. Therefore, more current is being pushed through the remaining spokes. And it, it could create an, a fuse situation where these will burn up, and you'll lose a connection. So to avoid this, what you can do is instead of having these at 90 degrees from each other, 
have these at 45. And you can see at 45, we're avoiding these clearance rules. And we'll keep our four spokes, and we'll keep a good connection. And the same thing, um, maybe in, in another situation, you'd want to use 90 degrees rather than 45 degrees. It, it, the it's, it depends on your design. So you got to keep that in mind. Um, that's really the, the meat and potatoes of what I wanted to talk to you about today. If you like this video, please like. If you have any comments or concerns or questions, leave a comment. And if you want more great content, subscribe. So thank you, and I'll see you next time.